Yes, there is, and if you do it the right way, there's lots of money with consistent work. My name is Brian from Ridgeback Productions, and I help beginning voiceover talents grow their business and generate income. And one of the ways that I like to help my talents grow their business and generate income is with using YouTube narration. Now, the question always gets asked and is bashed all the time. YouTube narration, you can't get a lot of money for it. It kind of sucks. A lot of cheap buyers out there, whatever all the negative things are. But if you do it right and with the right strategies, there is money to be made. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I do it and maybe how you might want to pull some of these tips and tricks from me and you can start making some more money or if nothing else, get a good start on your voiceover career just starting with YouTube. So let's have a look at YouTube narration and how you can start generating some immediate income on the platform. Let's go. Okay, so without going into all the details and randomness of YouTube videos, here's how it's going to break down. A standard YouTube script is about 1,500 words. You need to be willing to accept five, ten dollars in the beginning because you're going to start getting orders. You're going to narrate YouTube videos. It's going to take you a while. You're going to get better at your craft, and then those videos get posted on their YouTube channel. You say to them, "I want to help support your channel. I'd love to subscribe," and you do subscribe, and then when your channel, your videos start popping up on their channel, you can start collecting the links of those videos that you've narrated. That becomes a part of your demos. That becomes a part of your portfolio to share to other channel owners and grow. Okay. So there's a strategy behind that, but we can get, we can do another video on how to get from the bottom from here and get to up higher where I kind of am now. All right, so we're going to skip all that. Here's what I do. Right now, I take bulk orders, and there's big strategies and stuff on how to do that. We're gonna, Again, we're going to skip all that. I can get to that in another video. But I want to break down what YouTube narration could look like if you're doing it the right way. All right, so let's have a look at this. I have an order right here for 24 scripts. 24 scripts, and I'm getting $870. So $870 for 24 scripts. But that actually doesn't mean a whole lot because it's like, are the scripts only 100 words? Are they all a typical 1,500 word script? Are they longer? It doesn't matter. So what you end up learning is that the actual script count doesn't matter. What matters is the words. And that's why I charge per word, not flat rate anymore. Okay, so these 24 scripts for $870 are actually 49,723 words. Yeah, that's a big number. All right, so for 49,723 words, I'm getting $870. All right, well, let's let's break this down. A typical audiobook, they say for an audiobook, for you to narrate an audiobook, it's about approximately 10,000 words per hour that you actually speak, that you're that you're narrating, okay? So you're reading as the narrator in YouTube, any long form narration, it's about 10,000 words an hour. All right. So let's take our 49,723 words. Buckle in, by the way, we're going to be doing a lot of math here, but it's worth it. All right. 49,723 words equals about five hours of work. Rem remembering that 10,000 words is about an hour. 49,700-ish words is about five hours. We got about five hours of work. So what we're going to take is we're going to take the total for this order, which is $870, and let's divide that by five hours because it's going to take about five hours of finished narration to get that money. 870 divided by five hours, that's giving me $174 per finished hour. Now, if you're not familiar with a per finished hour, per finished hour means it's done. It's edited. It didn't take me five hours to narrate it. It's when everything is done and submitted to the client and they receive it, they're getting about five hours of my narration finished per finished hour. So I'm getting about $174 per finished hour that I submit. That's not too bad. 
Okay, but it's not really $174 an hour that I'm getting paid. It's my finished hour. Now, okay, so as you're learning to do long form narration, it sucks. Okay, it takes a while because you're narrating, you make mistakes, you have to reread certain parts, you got to take breaks, your throat gets dry, you got to drink water, you got to step away from it, you got to edit it, you got to produce it, all the different elements that go into actually having a finished product, you have to do that with long form narration. When you're just starting out, we have a narration ratio, okay? So the narration ratio is the actual time that it takes you to read the script, get through the whole thing, the actual time from start until finished, all the editing mistakes that you made, all the narrating mistakes you made, every single thing that you, from start to done, microphone on, saved the audio, it is completely edited, produced, that's your actual time. Your actual time to finish time, that's the ratio, all right? When you're just starting out, this is gonna suck. You ready for this? When you're just starting out, it's gonna take you about four to one. What does that mean? Four hours for every finished hour. Between it's gonna to do a whole finished hour of narration, it's gonna take you about four hours to do it. If you're just starting out, now just starting out means you're not very good at reading it out loud, so you make a lot of errors, you make a lot of mistakes, you have to keep recording, uh, fixing things. You're not very good at producing. You're not very good at editing. It takes you a while to edit and get used to your dog. You're just starting out, and that is okay. Brand new, just starting out, not used to reading out loud, not very proficient at your DAW, you're not very fast at it yet. It's going to take you four hours to complete one finished hour. All right, so looking at our numbers here, remember I said a lot of math? Lots of math. All right, so if we're getting paid 174 per finished hour for this order, if my ratio is four to one, it takes me four hours for every one hour of finished um audio, then that's $43.50. That's not bad. Basically, I'm getting $43.50 an hour to do this work if it's taking me four to one. That's a long time, okay? If I work at a four to one ratio and this is gonna take me five hours to complete the entire thing, like five hours of completed work is given to the client, for that five hours, if I'm working at four to one, uh, four, times the five hours, that's 20 hours of recording time to give them that five hours. But those 20 hours of time that I spent working, I was making $43.50 an hour. All right. So the truth is I'm saying this as if like you can start getting these rates as a beginner. You, you really can't, but as you get better at this, these are the rates that you can charge. Okay, so four to one, that's $43.50. If you're working at a three to one ratio, that's $58 an hour. All right, so that takes you three hours for every one finished hour. If you work at a double, so meaning you're working at a two to one, it takes you two hours for every one hour of finished audio, you're making $87 an hour, and that's pretty good. So to work at a three to one or a two to one, that just means that you're getting pretty proficient at long form narration. You don't make a lot of mistakes as you're reading. Your editing is pretty quick. You can produce it pretty quick and blast it out pretty fast. The faster you work, meaning the shorter that ratio, the faster you work, the more money you're making. So if you're working at a three to one, two to one, you're making in between $58 to $87 an hour reading YouTube narration if you have enough scripts, okay? And I've been doing this a while. I'm currently at about 1.5 to one. I'm just over an hour for every finished hour. So I'm making about $116 an hour reading YouTube narration. Now, again, there are strategies and things to get to this level, but when I work with clients, I get bulk orders. That's that's how I do things. I'm not I'm not messing around with like a, a one script, 1500 words. Like I'm getting big orders, okay? So as you can see right here, 
here's my order sheet. My order sheet's got 24 scripts on it. Now you can see these script lanes. These script lanes are, are anywhere from the, um, the low 2000s to upwards and in, in bigger 2000 numbers. Some are a little bit lower than 2000s. I'm working in some long scripts here, but that's okay. I like long form narration. So let's do a little compare and contrast. The difference between audiobook narration and YouTube narration, and I don't really like doing audiobook narration. I've said this a million times. It's like a flipping marathon. It is so, so, so tiring. YouTube narration is similar in that you're putting in a lot of work with big bulk orders like this. I mean, honestly, I, I, the client got five hours of my reading, but that's okay. I got a lot of money for it, and it's worth it to me. The difference to me is it's separated into scripts. There is 24 times, 24 things that I'm reading. It was 24 scripts. Even if this was an audiobook with 24 chapters, it's still the same story. Yes, it might be interesting to me. It's just not worth it. These 24 scripts ranged from different topics, but they were all around similar topics. So what this is, is, I mean, I got big clients. I got big channel owners that own multiple channels and come to me for their channels and given me big bulk orders. Now, this isn't like a monthly order. These are weekly things that I'm getting, but you got to grow to this level so that to full circle, wrap it around. Is there money to be made in YouTube? Yes. Now, if you talk to um, a union represented voiceover talent that's working with national brands for commercials and stuff, $870 is not a lot of money. And that might be a 30 second, 60 second national commercial for like a big car brand or something like that, or even way more than that. But if you're just starting out in voiceover and I'm not at the beginning level anymore, but I'm not at like this extravagant level where I'm making like a lot of money. Like I've said this a bunch of times, I help beginning voiceover talents grow their business and generate income. I'm at that level kind of with you. I'm just, I'm just a little bit of a couple hundred steps in front of you, helping you get to where I'm at. I'm not like at this huge gnarly level, but that's why I'm perfect to help you out. And if you want the help, I'm here for you. This is the stuff that I tell the clients that I work with. I offer consulting. I offer gig reviews. I'm here to basically, I'm just here to help you out and give you the advice that got me to where I'm at. And I can tell you it works. I'm showing you it works. Like these are actual real orders that I'm getting. It can be done. You just got to be willing to put in the time and work the system and, and it's there for you. If you're interested in getting a gig review, if you're interested in talking to me about some consultation and, and figure out how I can help you, if you look down in the gig description below, there's a couple links for you that you can follow for the consultation or the gig review. I would love to help you out. And if you have any questions about YouTube narration or how to how to get better in this business, go ahead, leave those comments down below. I'd be happy to respond to you or you can email me. I'm, I'm here to help you out 100% percent. And if you can help me out just like even a little bit by uh, hitting that like button on the on the video and maybe subscribe to the channel so you can see some future videos, it really helps out the YouTube algorithm so that they can expose these types of videos to other beginning voiceover talents just like you. Helps grow my channel, but it also helps viewers like you see content that's going to help them out. I really appreciate you checking in with me today. I hope you got a lot out of it and I'll see you next time in the next video. Thank you.